In 1904, Prime Minister Wilfrid Laurier announced, it is Canada that shall fill the 20th century. He was off by 100 years. On our 150th birthday, as we take stock of who we are, we find we are one of the most multicultural nations on earth, with more than 200 ethnic origins. We have abundant natural resources, water, timber, oil, metals. We have created some of the world's most livable cities and some of the best hockey players. The journey wasn't smooth, but it's what made us. The First Nations arrived 15,000 years ago. They adapted to the land and climate and integrated their belief system with nature. The first Europeans had more trouble adapting to the land. In 1534, Jacques Cartier looked at Newfoundland and said, I am inclined to believe that this is the land God gave to Cain. In 1759, French and English clashed on the plains of Abraham. By 1812, we were united in a war against the United States. Outnumbered and outgunned, we emerged victorious two years later. In the West, David Thompson, the greatest land geographer who ever lived, as he was later called, walked and paddled more than 50,000 square kilometers. And we expanded west to fill those spaces he had mapped. In 1864, John A. MacDonald said, there may be obstructions, local differences may arise, disputes may occur, local jealousies may intervene, but it matters not. The union of the colonies of British North America under one sovereign is a fixed fact. It wasn't a fixed fact, not yet, and local differences did arise. They still do. But on July 1st, 1867, we became a nation. In 1914, we went to war against Germany, following Britain's lead. In April 1917, the Canadian Expeditionary Force assaulted Vimy Ridge in France. It was a proving ground for Canada's troops. The casualties were high, more than 10,000, with 3,600 dead. But the assault was a success. The Canadians had accomplished what the French and British couldn't, and Vimy became a touchstone for Canadian nationalism. In 1939, we came to Britain's aid once more, as allies this time, rather than a colony. The Second World War was a defining event for Canada. More than a million Canadians served. Once more, we proved our worth at Caen, at Ortona, at the Epp. In 1967, we celebrated our centennial, and the world came to Montreal. In 1972, our faith was shaken, but we were uplifted by Henderson's goal. Here's another shot, right by the stars! Henderson has scored to Canada! Henderson right in front of the net! And the fans of the team are going wild! We were given long winters and great distances. We gave ourselves diversity and tolerance. We have given the world 22 Nobel Prize winners. The concept of peacekeeping. Captain James T. Kirk, Drake, Alice Munro, Leonard Cohen, and a model of diversity for the 21st century. And as we look at ourselves at the age of 150, we're still young, still growing, and still believe the best is yet to come. <laughs>